The ability to stay rooted is obviously a very important skill to have. You cannot be an effective martial artist if you're going to be stumbling all over the place as soon as someone lays a hand on you. But at the same time, staying rooted cannot be your main strategy against a moving opponent. It should be common knowledge by now that the better you are at moving around and coordinating your hands and feet, the greater your chances of victory. Yet, for whatever reason, there are still Wing Chun practitioners to this day who tend to overlook and undertrain footwork and mobility. If we just take a moment to look at the forms for answers, we can see that Siu Lim Tao is the only form in which we do not move our feet whatsoever from the very beginning of the form until the very end. In every form after that, we're training to coordinate our hands and feet. Every other form after Siu Lim Tao has some footwork involved, especially Mo Yan Zhong and Ba Zhan Dou. This should be a clear indication of how important footwork is in Wing Chun. Now, I'm not suggesting that we just skip over or fast forward through Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma training. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But rootedness is something that takes years to master. So in the meantime, it's important for students to also learn how to move effectively. Maybe not on the first day, but definitely within the first few months of training. Waiting until students have mastered rootedness before focusing on footwork is both impractical and unrealistic. Now some people might ask, well, why can't we just skip over Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma training altogether? That's because, besides the reason that I've already mentioned, training rootedness also introduces three very important concepts, which are efficiency, positioning, and timing. In terms of efficiency, by being forced to practice our techniques in one spot, we learn to make them effective with very little movement. And in terms of positioning and timing, by learning to make all our techniques as effective as possible while standing in one spot, we begin to get a sense of what a positional advantage might be, which allows us to begin to understand when and where to move our feet in order to gain that positional advantage. So as you can see, Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma and Che Ma are valuable training stances. But that's not all they are. You may have heard other people say that these stances exist only to teach us concepts, that they don't have any practical application. Well, I'm here to tell you that they do. So let's talk about these practical applications. Let's say you're out going about your business and you notice two random strangers from far having a conversation. Then all of a sudden, one of them gets into a conventional fighting stance. And a few seconds later, they both start fighting. If what you saw is all the information you have to go on, which one of them would you say instigated the fight? If you're trying to de-escalate a situation, being the first person to get into a conventional fighting stance is probably not the best approach. But not being prepared, just in case things start to escalate beyond words, would also be unwise. If you're used to engaging from a neutral stance and quickly going from that to a regular fighting stance while dealing with forward pressure, you definitely have an advantage when it comes to self-defense. And that the ability to go from Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma to Hao Ma while redirecting oncoming force into the ground is a basic skill that we practice continually in Qi Sao. Another practical application for Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma and Te Ma is to use these stances as transitional stances to go from one side of the opponent to the other. If you're into combat sports, you already know about Vasily Lomachenko and how he uses a square stance to cut crazy angles and run circles around his opponents. Generally, the best way to be able to maintain forward pressure is to position your feet front to back. But if you want to reposition yourself at a certain angle, you may have to place your feet side to side momentarily. During that transition, however short a time it may last, you don't want to feel like a fish out of water. You still want to be able to redirect forward pressure, generate power, and be effective both offensively and defensively. Those are all advantages that Yi Zi Kim Yo Ma and Che Ma can provide 
if you train them well. In summary, yes, Yi Zi Kim Yong Ma and Tse Ma are valuable training stances, but they also have very important practical applications. By understanding their uses and training them consistently, these stances will help you develop two skills that are equally important. They will help you develop the ability to root and the ability to move. If you found this video helpful, remember to hit that like button. And until next time, train well, and thanks for watching.